Hello everyone, I'm Michael from SharePoint Pro and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make an employee leave request application with no code using only SharePoint and MS Power Automate. The logic of this application will be an employee will create a leave request entering their start date and end date and their type of leave. A manager will be emailed the request and can approve, approve or deny this request. The employee will be notified via email if their leave has been accepted or denied and if accepted, an event will be created in a shared calendar. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a SharePoint custom list. This list will hold our leave requests and will be used to trigger the flow when an item is created. The list will also be used as a log so management can look back and see all the historical leave requests. On the list, I'll create a date started and date ended date fields. I'll create a type of leave choice field with the choices being annual leave, sick leave, and long service leave. And I'll create a status choice field with the choices pending approval, approved, and rejected. I'll also create a multi-line text field for notes. I'll not be using the title field in this list, so I'll make that not required. Okay, I'll go and do that now. Okay, so now the list is set up, we just need to set up the form so the employees see only the fields that they need to fill out. We just want to show the date started, the date ended, and the type of leave fields. So to do that, we just click New, and then Edit Columns, and we just uncheck the fields we don't want to be on the form, and we click Save, and then refresh the page, and that's looking pretty good. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the Emma's flow so that when an employee fills out a new list item, it triggers the Emma's flow and that triggers the leave requests. So we'll head over to Power Automate now. So here we are at Power Automate. Power Automate already comes with a leave request flow template. To find it, simply search for it and then click continue to create. Now this template checks the employer's user profile for it, their manager. It then emails their manager the request. However, if your company does not fill in this field in Azure Active Directory, then the flow will fail. It is for this reason, I will be building a flow from scratch and I'll hard code in a shared email address for approval requests. To create the flow, click on create and then choose automated cloud flow. From here, choose when an item is created and name your flow. Once created, the first thing we need to do is set up the SharePoint site address and the list with the list we created earlier. Okay, so next we need to create the approval step. So search for start and wait for approval. And with approval type, I'll choose first to respond. In the title, I'll put leave requested by, and I'll use the created by display name. For assign to, this is where you'll assign it to the person who needs to approve the request. In this case, I'll just put myself, but you may put a manager or a shared or group email. For details, I'll just put type of leave, followed by the type of leave value from our choice field. And item link, I'll put name. So the next step I'll do is create an email. I'll email the requester the outcome of the request. 
Now, if you wanted to have a different email for the approved and rejected requests, then you would put this behind the condition that will come next. However, to stop duplication, I'm just gonna send one email and I'll use the variables from the approval step. In the two, we'll use the created by email. And then we can just write a friendly email. So the next step we need to do is make the condition step. If the leave was rejected, all we need to do is update the initial item to change the status to rejected and add the comments from the approval uh, step in. If the approval was accepted, then we need to update the item to say that it's approved. We can add the comments in, and then we'll also create a item in the SharePoint calendar. You could easily use a Outlook calendar uh, for this, but for this demonstration, I'll be using a SharePoint calendar. On the condition, you'll check to see if the outcome is equal to approve. And since date started and date ended are required, we just need to enter them in. We'll just use the date started and date ended from the initial um, item so that will not update it. And then for notes, we will use the response comments. Now the final thing we need to do is just create an item in the SharePoint calendar. For the title, I'll put the type of leave and then the name of the employee. Start time and finish time will be the entered start time and finish time. And now we can test it. So as always to test, we just click up the right hand corner, click test and then manual. And then we create an item in the leave request list to trigger it off. Okay, as you can see, when the item was created, this triggered, and we're currently waiting at the start for start and wait for an approval. So that will send an email. Okay, here you can see the email that's being sent. I'll approve the request and write a comment. You click submit. Okay, and now we can see the email that's been sent to the requester. It's just a basic email to say that the leave request has been approved. And finally, if we switch over to SharePoint, we can see the approved leave requests. And in our shared calendar, we can see that the event has been created. So there you have a leave request form created in SharePoint and MS Power Automate in less than 10 minutes. So now let's run through from start to finish.